Hello and welcome to the first Ask Ben W, uh, an Ask Me Anything uh, series where I try and answer one question every trip between my parked car and my office. Um, and since we are interviewing a bunch of uh, folks for a new position on our team, I thought that I would answer one of the questions that we were asking folks. Um, and that question is, what is one touchstone moment of your teaching career that uh, you carry with you? And so I was thinking a lot about this question and how I would answer it. Um, and the way that I think about this is the moment that a student who had looped with me, uh, who's a boy who um, had given me some trouble, uh, definitely um, was, a, was a good kid, but uh, you know, tried to tried to push some some boundaries, and um, you know, actually we had a, an incident where, um, in a handoff from him to me, uh, uh, we dropped a new MacBook, um, and the the sheen uh, the screen shattered, uh, which was not ideal, um, and so you know we had some history, me and this kid, and uh, there was a. There was a moment where he actually uh, pulled me aside. So th this was his second year uh, in my language arts classroom. He was an eighth grader then. Um, and we were working on a project that uh, was, it was called the ISM project, where he had to come up with his own, so we were studying different isms in literature. Um, you know, so we were looking at uh, the isms of the uh, 19th century, um, you know, so looking at romanticism, looking at uh, some of the other isms, feminism, um, and, uh, and then we started looking at the 20th century and 21st. So uh, he had to come up with his own ism. And I was in love with this project. Um, it was something where, you know, the students had a lot of ability to have choice and they were able to create things. Um, uh, <laughs> but uh, but there was uh, a moment of feedback that he gave me where we had been working on this project for a couple of weeks. Um, I mean, I feel like maybe two or three weeks where they were doing mostly writing on a wiki. They were, you know, writing on different Google Docs and things like that. Um, and I was giving, giving people individual feedback. Um, but he you know, sort of, we had this moment of, of a one-on-one, -on -one, and I can't remember if he pulled me aside or if I had initiated this, but the, uh, the feedback that he gave me was, you know, I'm not learning anything by doing this. And uh, it was this moment where this, this child, this, uh, you know, wonderful student, um, was was telling me that he wasn't getting what he needed out of my classroom and that was a pretty big deal um it was something that you know i was like but this is your choice and you get to choose what you want it to be and you are writing and you are able to continue to expand what this is um, and so i was still very excited about it but i could tell that he needed something different and i think that um changed my perspective on, you know, the sort of project-based learning that we were going for, um, it's not enough to launch something. It's not enough to give uh, kids and maybe even adults the, the different places, um, you know, the, the different <laughs> ways of, of creating. What you have to do is also provide additional entry points for people to say, this isn't what I need. And to be able to say no. <laughs> and to be able to opt for perhaps a even a more traditional form of teaching and learning where he, excuse me, where he was specifically looking for more guidance in his writing, more guidance in the way in which he was analyzing um, you know, literature and, and things like that. So, um, you know, that was a moment that I carry with me in trying to figure out, you know, what are um, the right constraints, the right options, the right choices that allow for um, 
allow for students to, you know, personalize their learning, but also to say to the choices that I have made that they aren't enough, they aren't good enough, and to be able to take that feedback and make it something better. Um, so that's my touchstone moment. Uh, I wonder what yours might be, your touchstone moment of your teaching career, uh, your teaching or learning career. And although you are probably not applying for a position that we are uh, have posted in Denver Public Schools, that is one of the questions that we asked those candidates. And so I feel like it's a good way to sort of model, you know, that I, I think those questions are important. And I think those, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to have um, a really great team after having some folks answer that question and think it through with us. So thank you so much for watching. Again, the hashtag on this series is AskBenW. Um, please do continue to ask questions. And uh, if you want to launch your own uh, Ask uh, series, I would love to watch and to have conversations with you via video. Thanks a lot.